Well, I've been doing the TV show for about five years, and um, a, it was a, kind of a logical extension of what we were doing in the TV show to do like um, musical, fashion, rock and roll kinds of things. Andy met the cars, and the cars liked the show, and so they decided that they wanted to use our studio. So what about my sex life? It's great. Well, I think that when we started the TV show, we were very interested in having the music play on the visual, which is what a music video does. You can use music to enhance the powerfulness of a visual image. Obviously, it's done in movies, you know, every day. So what we tried to do is make our segments in this show uh, really cut to music. Well, I think well, you, you've made six videos, and that, that means uh, movies should be shorter now. They should be yeah. three minutes, right? That's and right. You go to a theater and stay for three minutes and leave. That's right. It's the way it should be. Fast movies. Yeah. This is basically our first American debut in the rock video genre. And um, what we're doing is we're combining a lot of new techniques that have never really been done before, um, using in. Super 8, for example. We're using the ultimate because everybody else is, but we're doing something a little different with it. We're also staging a, an intro where we have somebody interviewing some high school kids about gratuitous sex and violence on you know, music videos. And at a, at a certain moment, a car crashes through the set and obliterates you know, the people that are taking part in the discussion. And uh, the idea of that is, is just to kind of, the whole issue of sex and violence is in, in a way to satirize it and in a way to make a comment about it is that, you know, sex and violence is everywhere anyway and on the, and on the news and certainly it's going to be on music videos. It's on television all the time and cartoons and everywhere. It's, I'm more opposed to violence than sex, really. Uh, originally, I sat down with uh, Andy and Mark Ballot and we discussed what uh, we could do with the idea of hello again. I mean... What is, what do you think of when somebody says hello to you? And when you walk down the street and you see a girl like Diane Rill, obviously the first thing that says hello is the first thing that meets the eye. But I think Andy picked Diane Brill because um, she's the girl of the year here in New York. Um, she was on our television show as a new face and was so popular, the cards and letters just didn't stop coming in. Well, it all started out when I was a little girl, I'm 16 years old, and from being a flat-chested, very skinny, boy-like girl, I developed into a woman. The people here today are just so beautiful, God. I mean, I, the, the restaurant that we're, we're at now, I should uh, just hire all these people just to sit around. This is... Uh, Regular people. Are these your, all your friends? Well, some of them are, yeah. John Sex is uh, a friend. Hi, John. How are you? What's the snake's name? This is Delilah. Delilah is a she? Yeah. Yep. Um, what part does Delilah play in this video? That's a good question. Um, I'll have to speak to the director real soon and find out what I'm supposed to be doing. John Sex, we like his name, we like his hair, we like his pet. The... The reason that both Diane Brill and John Sex were chosen from our point of view is that they kind of exude a playful sexuality, which we tried to bring across in this tape. And go. Do you have favorite videos? I mean, now that they've been doing videos um, for a couple of years now. Yeah, some videos I really like. Um, let me see. Uh, you know, I like the kind of videos, well, of course I like the kind of videos that don't really depict the song meaning. Because I'm a little afraid of, like, uh, videos, like depicting lyrics. Because, for instance, when you listen to a song on the radio, you always imagine what it means to you and what it means to... Uh, you know, and, and what you're going through in your life at the time. But when you see a video, then, then all of a sudden you have this, like, uh, picture of what somebody else thinks it is. I like films with no plots and strong characters. Gee, your hair's beautiful. Wow. 
I thought about the way video should be. No plot, strong character. Why don't you keep it like that? I've just been letting it grow. Oh, that long. Oh, about a year. That's all, and it's that long. Jeez, my has been growing for six years, and it's nowhere near that length. I don't know, sometimes I think I have a deficiency. Mm. I prefer to have it, the more surreal one. Just to pick sort of a mood. And I think what will really, like, change the art form is when people, you know, smart people start f finding a new way to make videos. In other words, you know, why shouldn't you just make a video in an 8 millimeter? You know, if the content is real interesting. <laughs> The kissing sequence was consciously reenacting Andy's famous film called The Kiss and incorporating that in kind of a, a, a new way where it wasn't just a static look at it. In the film The Kiss, the camera was very much a bystander and in this, it's a participant because you are becoming involved in what's going on. I agree with you, but I'm just wondering if the transition to Andy now, we've come, we've seen the the face is dissolved, 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 right? They're close up, then we go into Andy, and then dissolves out from Andy. You enjoy working on these videos? Yeah, I love doing them. I know there's a lot of waiting around. People think it's, people think, you know, I don't, I don't know what people think you do when you're making videos, but 90% of the time you're waiting for them to set up the shot. This is the part, right? Repeat the track from the beginning. This is going to be the tongue shot. Can I have the tongue person here, please? Take your tongue out. Good. Is that, can we see that? <laughs> don't laugh, Tom. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Don't laugh. laugh. Don't laugh. Everything's depending on you not laughing. Take your tongue out. To everyone's surprise, I think the, the, it ended up being pretty much as we had thought it would, you know, come out looking like. And not so much as a, as a verbatim, blow by blow, lyric by lyric, as kind of a, the idea of what does this lyric really mean and what's the meaning behind it, but more or less a, a look at everyone just enjoying the song. And that was the intent of it. I think there's going to be a lot of interest just because the fact that Andy's involved. I think people are going to be expecting something different. And I think they're going to get something a little bit different. Did you have a favorite strange character from the day? Uh, well, I don't know that I had a favorite. Maybe Andy was my favorite strange character. He was stranger than anyone, and he just even when he just stood there. What other groups would you like to work with? Uh, what, uh, just anybody. Well, these videos take, I mean, they're only three minutes long, but they take, you know, so much time to do. Why is that?